We watch videos and like it just comes right out. Oh God. It's clearly not the case for us. We're Rachel and Cole, first time RVers renovating our 2007 travel trailer. On top of bracing for a major snowstorm, we're running into a few other problems. That was bad. Subscribe to follow our progress every week. A historic document. This is Working for the Wild. So if you watched our last video, you'll know that most of the demo is done, but we had some issues with a couple things. So we took care of a couple of the things like uh, the range hood, the radio, those are out, batteries disconnected, obviously. Um, but there's something that we haven't been able to figure out yet, and that is the bathroom mirror thingy majiggy, the little drawer, not drawer. Just the vanity mirror. Vanity mirror and the wallpaper border. I think we're gonna try to get that out today and that should be the very last piece of demo before we kind of finalize the design plan. So here we go. Do that over there. Oh, yeah. Another part of demo that we sort of forgot about were all the lights, which you can see we have removed. We just need to detach the wires. Um, we're still debating like what. We want to replace the lights with. For these, just cut down here by the light. What'd you find? Well, there's some buried treasure underneath the top of the range. Oh <laughs> my lord, what is that? A mozzarella stick? <laughs> A fish stick or some pizza crust or something? Chicken finger maybe? Yeah. Garlic bread? Looks like a chicken finger. Something fried. <laughs> well, there you go. What do we do about that? We just did something really bad. We're trying to unhook the gas and this pipe is like literally twisting. Copper pipe. What is going on? That is not good. What do we do? That was bad. What do we do? I don't know. We'll have to figure it out. I feel like this is our life. Like things that should be really simple. Things that like we watch videos and like it just comes right out. Oh God. It's clearly not the case for us. We're literally breaking things trying to get this gas line unhooked. I don't know. Should we just leave it for now? Yeah, like it was unscrewing. But it was just totally ruining the pipe. Maybe let's leave it just because we just unhooked the propane. Like let's leave it overnight and maybe we can try to unhook it tomorrow. That way we're not as concerned about like gas in the pipes. You know what I mean? If you connect a, I'm just saying, like I'm trying to figure this out. Like, if you have to connect a new pipe into this somewhere, like that's not just like copper pipe isn't something that just like connects to each other. Like it has to be like soldered together. And that's right. something I can't do. Can't we just get an entirely new pipe and like put it in ourselves? Possibly. I guess we have to figure out where it goes and how to get it disconnected first. So if you watched our last video, you'll know that we were struggling to figure out what to do with this little thing here. I know it's dark in here, but um, we posted on Instagram asking people if we should keep this or rip it out because basically if we rip it out, we're gonna make holes in the wall, which isn't the end of the world. Like we're not worried about destroying the camper. It's just, do we really wanna deal with 
patching more holes and everything that I've been looking at to replace this looks the same so um, the people spoke on Instagram if you're not following us there you should go follow us at working for the wild because we ask for advice on what to do quite a bit but a majority of people said just keep it paint it so that's what we're gonna do there's like some remnants there's like an old newspaper down in here yeah that's from the the storage department outside what is that newspaper I don't know just left from behind like that's that shelf inside of the storage compartment out there how old do you think this is <gasps> the sports section from where Houston draws even with cards it's from 2004 <laughs> I'm confused what? this is a 2007 camper it's from Monday, October 18th, 2004. The Amarillo Globe News. <laughs> um, Steelers turn late Cowboys fumble into winning TD. Wow. Big news. This is a historic document. Did we find the Declaration of Independence? The Declaration of Independence, yeah. I wish. Um, there's one other one. Come take a look. What else? How old is this one? This one's from 2010. May 12th, 2010. He's probably just using it as like... Yeah, ew. Something. I don't know why not. Um, fun little things you find in a used camper. But I feel like we got a lot done today. We did get a lot done today. We got the range hood off. We got the radio out. It's very echoey in here now. So, tomorrow's a new day. The exciting thing is, now we get to start like measuring to actually make things. Build some stuff. try to get a couple things done um, peeling away some of the uh, material that's connecting the countertops to the walls also taking off some of the um, outlet covers because we're planning to replace those and we will paint it'll just make it easier to paint around them WD-40. Good morning, good afternoon. Uh, we have about an hour. Oh, it was really bright. We have about an hour of time, so we're gonna try to get a couple things done. So we haven't been able to get the stove out yet, but Cole thinks he's found a solution. So we're gonna try to get this out. was actually way easier than I expected. So yeah, you can see we messed up the pipe the first time we tried taking it out just from twisting it. Um, there could be a leak in here, so we're gonna have to replace this. So we've gotten pretty lucky and it hasn't started snowing yet, but it's supposed to in the next couple hours. So we're trying to get this tarp on now before that happens. Cole's gonna go up on the ladder and trim some of the branches that are touching our AC unit a little bit. And then hopefully we should be able to get this tarp on easily. It's a little too small for the trailer, but I think it's better than nothing. It doesn't look great. Like there's a ton of space in the back like and in the front. Six inches on either side. It's a 17 foot tarp and our trailer's 18 and a half feet long. We'll see. Woohoo.
looks okay. Yep. Anything concerning in there? This is obviously covered up, but the tarp's over the top of it, so. Doesn't look too bad. Yeah, the snow definitely slowed down our progress on the camper. Yeah. I don't feel like there's anything we can really do right now with it, but. Can't really fight with nature, so. I'm just glad everything's okay on the inside. So the next video, hopefully we're gonna be starting to prep some things for painting and maybe even building some stuff that will eventually go in here. So yeah. be sure to check <laughs> it out, subscribe, like, comment on this video if you like it or if you don't like it, tell us what you don't like about it. <laughs> even if you just don't like us, that's fine too. Yeah. Uh, thanks so much for watching.